Well, Carolyn, what's at stake is the entire organization. That's maybe a thousand children, hundreds of parents, volunteers, and a program that they all so love. For more than 50 years, boys and girls in Westland from the age of 7 to over 17 have played just about every sport, cheered at just about every game, and had tons of fun doing it. But tonight, the Westland Youth Athletic Association is in serious financial trouble because more than $50,000 is missing. I just can't get past the fact that somebody, that a human being that has children in the organization could do that to the kids. Newly elected President Don Haas says the former president of the association is under investigation by Westland Police. Haas says he handled all the money. They first noticed it was missing when the power was turned off at their headquarters. Then they realized bills were not being paid. We would get people showing up at our compound saying that we owe them money. Um, the, the gas was shut off. There was no heat in the building. What this means is that basketball courts could be empty and baseball diamonds deserted. It could mean that hundreds of children involved in the program could lose out because someone spent the money that was meant for them. It's horrible because you're just looking at one person doing that to a children's organization. I feel like sad and angry. It is dirty because these kids are what's more important and he just took the money from the kids. We did go to try to talk to the former president tonight and was told he wasn't home. We don't expect to see the money back. We feel the money spent. Um, we know that this person has no way of paying it back. but. That doesn't mean that justice can't be served. Now, we're not using the name of the former president because so far he has not been charged. Meanwhile, Don Haas says they will move forward. They're going to have fundraisers, and they are hoping that someone steps up to the plate. In Westland, I'm Cheryl Choden, Channel 7 Action News. Yeah.